So this question looks like it's going to be a simplify question. I say that because simplified questions are typically very short, somewhere between one and three lines long, and they contain an expression or equation. In this case, we have an expression. So let me just rewrite this expression to, in fact, parentheses to root x minus root y to the two-fifths power. So the question says, which of the following expressions is equivalent to that, where x is greater than y and y is greater than zero? This is a perfect question to use a strategy that I love to use called plug in your own number. We know that we can use this strategy typically whenever we see variables in the question, right? We see the x and y here. And also we see those exact same variables in our answer choices, right? A, B, C, and D all also have x and y. So how do I plug in my own number? I do exactly what the strategy says. I say, well, I'm going to make up a number for x. And I'm going to choose a number that makes sense for me, right? Since, since x is under the radical, I am going to say x equals 4 because it's easy to take the square root of 4. And then I am going to say y equals, oh, oh, oh. So let's say, I'm going to say x equals 9, actually, and y equals 4, right? So why did I stop myself? Because the question tells me here that x has to be greater than y, right? So I can't say x is 4 and y is 9. I can just switch them around. So the next step of plugging your own numbers now is to actually plug those numbers into the question. So I have 2, parentheses 2, square root 4, sorry, still keeping that four, square root nine minus square root four to the two-fifths. This becomes two times three minus two to the two-fifths. And this becomes six minus two, which is four to the two-fifths power, which is equal to the fifth root of four squared, which there's a lot of things I could do. I can say that's a fifth root of 16, which would be true. I could say that is the uh, fifth root of, let's say, four. It's the same as two squared. So two squared squared, which is two to the fourth. So fifth root of two to the fourth. Um, just keep, I'm keeping in mind that there's a lot of different options I have for how I write that out. So that's the first step. We get an answer, right? So we have this answer four to the two fifths and then all these other ways to write it out um, in radical form. So now the next step is to take those exact same numbers and plug them into your answer choices. So for instance, for choice A, if x is 9 and y is 4, then 4 times 9 is 36 minus 4. That becomes 32. So this whole thing becomes 32 to the fifth power. 32 to the fifth power is in no way equal to 4 to the 2 fifths power. So A is gone. For choice B, again, I replace x with 9. Let's use a different color. 9. Y gets replaced with 4. So this becomes, again, 36 minus 4, which is 32. So I get the fifth root of 32. And again, that is closer, right? But we, we saw that we what we have in terms of fifth root would be fifth root of 16, not fifth root of 32. So this is not equal to the 4 to the 2 fifths power. So B is gone. Choice C, we do the exact same thing. So this is 9, this is 9, this is 4, and this is 4. So a little bit more work to do here. So we have 36, just put it over here, 36 minus, so 9 times 4 is 36. The square root of 36 is 6, and then times 4, so minus 24, and plus 4. So 36 minus 24 is 12, plus 4 is 16. And we'd have 16 to the 1 fifth, which is the same as fifth root of 16, which is exactly what we have here, which means it's exactly the same as 4 to the 2 fifths. So this is, in fact, the correct answer. Choice C is the correct answer. Now, we can try D if you want, but it's not really a need to. So X is 9. That makes this 36. Uh, X is 9 and Y is 4. So that's 36 times 4. Remember, this is the non-calculator section, so do not feel bashful about writing down your math. 14, right? So this is 144, so minus 144 plus 4. This is going to get us something negative, right? So a fifth root of some negative number, which is definitely not what we have. So choice D is out. So hopefully you see why choice D was the right answer. You can also see how I used this plug-in your own number. You can see why I chose x to be 9 and y to be 4. Um, one, because I want 
perfect squares under these radicals here. Two, because the question says that x has to be greater than y, right? So you could choose different numbers if you want. You could have said x is 16 and y was 9. Um, that wouldn't matter. In fact, you should try that and see that you get the exact same answer just to prove how beautiful this strategy of plugging your own number is.